Hello guys, and welcome back to another CAFCAST! Today we are back here in the wonderful world of Jurassic World and things have changed. Can you see? Can you see out there? Oh, it looks interesting. It looks interesting. We've uh, we've added another one of these uh, DNA thingies and oh yes, Velociraptor. 100% Velociraptor straight away. Oh, I've been I've been here for so long, guys. I can't just just like the one time when we when we actually get started and we really need one, it kind of like comes through for us. That is really really awesome. Uh, yes, we are back once again, and thank you for tuning in once again, my lovely people. Uh, we are going to essentially try to get two Velociraptors. That's what I'm aiming for here. But uh, they seem to not really want to come out. So we may have to just go with one of the Jurassic Craft ones. We already do have another one in there anyway. We have the Plaw in there who can uh, who can live with them. Uh, but the first thing I want to show you guys is this fantastic thing that we've done here. This took quite a lot of sitting around and, and working out. But we've done it. We've made it look really, really cool. Check this out. So we've got the, uh, the L shape that I was talking about actually became essentially a square with a piece cut out now as you can see uh, it's, it's also raining as well I wanted to just quickly show you this guys just uh, I'll, I'll change it to, um, to daytime in a little bit but I just wanted to quickly give a chance to, uh, to show you how this looks we've made it now the shader pack that we're using div 53 um, of the uh, the cuter shaders now is able to see during the day uh, in rain because before it was like really foggy and hard to see and there's little water droplets every now and again not sure if you can see them if you just just use your eyes very carefully you might be able to see little water droplets just sort of dripping down on the screen and leaving little sort of like smudges and it's really really awesome so i'm very very impressed with this it looks great the sun still sort of shines through um, which is really, really awesome. But I just wanted to turn that on manually, just so I could show you guys exactly how uh, how that looked. We will change it back to how it was before, which is just a regular, totally normal sunny day. There's plenty of rain around now, as you can see. But here we are in the... Uh, oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, what the hell is that? There's like a... Really, 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 really high stack of leaves. Hmm, that seems weird. I need to eat some apples because I'm running. I'm running low. As you can see, the the tarantrum. I think this is tarantrum. The 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 brown one is tarantrum. I think. Let's have a look. Tarantrum? Are you tarantrum? No, you're tarantar. Well, it was a fifty-fifty. They are growing. They're getting bigger. And there's also a tree in, uh, inside here. We'll talk more about this in a bit in a minute. But I want to go find out what's going on over here. This looks amazing. We've got plenty of uh, of hydrogen, so we can get up here without too much trouble. We are flying, which is actually really fun. <laughs> it's just it's just like one of the trees just thought to itself, you know what? I'm fed up of being all the way down here. I want to go nice and high. Oh man, look at that sun. That snow is like, pfft. wow. It's just kind of like made a weird thing, and it's really, really flowy. Let's see what happens when we fall down next to it. Oh! Well, we managed to make it a, a perfect landing. What is this? The pillar of leaves. Oh, this is that's that is. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what to say about that. That is absolutely crazy. Um, I'm gonna hope it doesn't have some kind of like sinister purpose to it. Well, well, I'm sure we will find out as we go. Anyway, as you guys can see, we've done a little bit of uh, sort of picking away at the uh, at the land that we've got here, and it actually looks really, really good. We've got the the road now. What I've done here is I've worked out how wide this is needs to be five wide to be able to take all the sort of trees that we have going around with this this current setup thing that we've got here, this current grid system. And I've also decided that actually we're going to keep this all grass like this on these parts and only have the roads sort of like link off where they actually are supposed to link off. So like this is going to be, ter this one not is because that's a road to a door, but this one will become grass because it doesn't go anywhere. And then when people want to just sort of like look around the exhibits, they can, they can literally, if they want to walk up to the wall, they can, they can just literally walk up to the wall. We can take this dirt out because I've actually got some of this borderless glass on me as well. Oh man, this took this took a long time to do, but it's 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 definitely worth it. So essentially, what I did is I took the kind of um, exhibit that we would normally have this way, uh, and then I kind of put it in this way. So as you can see, there there would normally would be because of the way that it's designed. 
uh, with the the width of it, with one there and one here, there would have been a uh, little sort of like door paddock thing here. But it actually makes sense for it not to be here anyway, because it's um, it doesn't like link out to anything. But as you can see, that's made it sort of like have this extra sort of like two stop gap. Oh, look at that sun! Oh man, this this game just absolutely gorgeous when we're playing it with the uh, cuter shaders. I think that's that's absolutely fantastic. It's got, got a sort of like a really nice high definition look to it. Oh my god. Wow, I'm really enjoying myself already. This is amazing. Uh, so yeah, we've got this like two two gap kind of like pillar thing here which is represented on the other side over here and it's represented on the other side over here but then not that way because that way is the width ways that the exhibit would go. So essentially, it's just a way of making it so that it doesn't look weird and out of proportion. But as you can see, it's the perfect shape for a square, bar this small section here. But that means that it's actually designed in such a way that whenever we want to have any roads going around it or along or down or anything like that, they all connect up absolutely perfectly. So the, the biggest exhibit that we're going to have in this place, so probably for like Brachiosaurus or something, will be just like a two wide, so it will be like that. It will be that sort of square. Because all this is, is the, the same width as it is length, and then it's just got a bit cut out. And then the, the, the large one will be the same width, the same length, just a giant square, essentially, which I think makes a whole lot of sense. Now... One other thing that I decided to do uh, or not do whilst I was uh, I was off of camera, I went to go and do a bit of redwood um, tree chopping down uh, over that way. There's a redwood forest, and uh, and I got a few saplings. I didn't get loads, but I got a few saplings to bring back just so we could work. We could spend a bit of time working on putting a couple of uh, of trees up here for our fantastic tyrannosaurus because they kind of are a bit exposed. And this end over here, he seems to just be enjoying decorating the 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 T Rex exhibit, and nobody's eating him. So I don't see why we need to necessarily worry about like taking him out. I mean, all the dinosaurs they have feeders. There's a feeder over there, as you can see, and the other the other Jurassic Craft dudes seem to be feeding from that because they haven't asked for any food or anything. They're just getting on well. Look at this. Oh my god, this this guy is growing a little bit faster than the other one. He's he's actually like almost my head height now. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy, Trenta? Good job, good job. Right, okay. So we've got the there's two different types of redwood saplings that I could find in this redwood forest. We haven't got very much bone meal, but there's like these two by two ones, and then there's these regular non two by two ones. So let's see what this looks like. Two by two, and then re there we go. Whoa! Oh wow! Yeah, that's 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 exactly what they were like in the other in the other forest. So. I was thinking some of these like really really awesome massive redwood trees will just kind of like give them a little bit of shelter and and stuff and then sort of just have a few smaller ones just sort of dotted in every now and again so like for example we'll probably have another one i guess like sort of here would be quite a good place there we go and bow meal 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 and my meal. Oh, it's not gonna grow. Okay, well, we'll just leave that. We'll just leave that. I'm sure. I'm sure it will grow eventually. That one is just bloody massive. Um, we'll have another one here, and then we'll have another one like over here somewhere, I guess. Uh, and then we'll probably have let's just look, sort of having them spaced out a little. One there. One there. One there. One there. Maybe sort of like one just at the very edge of the exhibit over here. It casts quite a, quite a nice big shadow, which is pretty cool. Um, so if we have one, one just sort of like, let's just say one here. I think that's quite a cool place for another one. Bam. I tried to use another bone mill, but it didn't work. We've actually got like a load of bone mill in, indoors, so let's go get some of that. I'm going to put down some of these smaller redwood saplings as well, just in case they will grow as we go. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to cut down them and, and gain some more saplings out of it if we can. I'm also going to quickly get this egg out of here. The other thing we're going to be doing today is spending a little bit of time hatching all of the Velociraptors because I know that there are quite a few that we've uh, we've got now to, to work with. We have the one that I just got, which we need to go put in the uh, the cultivator machine thing, Bob, for the uh, for the Jurassic Craft version. That's the one that we got for that. And then we also have another one. Is there any more? No. Well, we'll just go with the, the two Velociraptors. That's, that's fine. We've already got one, and then we have another one. And then we'll have, like, four of these guys or no but the full five actually let's just let's go crazy let's do it why not one two these didn't fail which is good three 
I'm not that one. Four, five? Yeah, all five. Fantastic. That is perfect. Do we have any torches? We don't, but there's one or two outside. And there's a couple here, actually, as well. I could probably take this one's. This one's not doing very much work. We'll take that with us as well. Um, so we can just sort of, like, heat up the floor that we've got going. Oh, one of those uh, big rubber trees has grown up. Nice. It's slightly smaller. It's like a smaller one. That's really cool. Oh, it's just, this is brilliant. Okay, well, let's go and have a little sleep. Because I think we need to do that before we can go any further today. Because uh, essentially, we're looking at trying our best to get as much done as possible. And also do a little bit of naming. You've been watching the Gapcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us. If you like what you see That way I'll know to make more And that you really like me So You've been watching the Gafcast We hope you have enjoyed the show Don't forget to check out All of our other videos <laughs>